which celebrity has blocked you on social media and why. Dane Cook blocked me on Twitter. He tweeted something along the lines of, Sometimes no matter what you do, you can't win. And I replied did you make another movie? Insta blocked. What a Dane Cook thing to do. I remember someone saying they got blocked by Hulk Hogan for telling him he doesn't need to sign his tweets off with HH. I get why you wouldn't wanna write HH. Because of the whole angry moustache man debacle. Or for degenerates. Hente Haven. I tweeted the Hulk once and he liked and retweeted it. I flew close to the sun that day. William Shatner. I tweeted him what's going on. Slick Willy? Apparently. He does not like being called Slick Willy or Mayo. Wow William Shatner apparently out here just blocking people. That's two people in one post. I wonder how many others are blocked by all Slick. I knew a girl who was blocked by him in grade school because she asked him if when he went to the bathroom he became William Schneer, or something to that effect. William Shatner. I brought up tech war. When my dad worked as Tsar, he got to have the privilege and honor of screening William Shatner. Shatner did not want to be screened, and tried to skip it, complaining and such about the whole procedure. And when a Tsar officer informed him that no matter who you are, Tsar screens everybody, he scoffed and said, that's absurd. Tsar screens everybody. As Pendulette learned the hard way, Shatner apparently blocks a lot of people, especially if they bring up red letter media. Not a celebrity but Ford blocked me on Twitter cause I kept asking them to bring the crown Victoria back. Hell yeah brother. Kendra Sunderland blocked me on Twitter. She posted that she wished there were human sized cats. I said there are. They are called tigers and they are fine murder people. She did not appreciate that apparently. Tigers are like three people. Okay cougars then they also kill people. I made a comment on a post on Weird Al Yankovic's Facebook page. A clip from White Nerdy of him and Donny Osmond. And Osmond liked the comment and, I assume accidentally, friend requested me. Ironically, I auditioned for his syndicated game show Pyramid in 2005 at the Mall of America, and I immediately took the opportunity to remind him of how he got really pissed off at me for asking for an orange Julius when I got on stage. He never answered, and unfriended blocked me instead. Why did he get pissed about the orange Julius comment? Wasn't blocked but Duncan Jones, son of David Bowie called me an insufferable bore. Lovely guy after all. Not a celebrity but Harbor Freight, when I commented that their pipe inspection cameras are good for home colonoscopies, Harbor Freight certainly carries the Dane Cook version of almost every tool you'd ever need. Lot of Dane Cook references in this response section, and by a lot I mean two, which for Dane Cook references in a single comment section not about Dane Cook, in 2021, is a lot. Jax Taylor from Vanderpump Rules because I said he looked like coked up Rattigan from Great Mouse Detective. That was beautiful and accurate. I was starting to lose hope that the number one guy wouldn't make it on the list. I haven't been blocked so can't answer. My brother was blocked by Josh Peck on Twitter. Josh posted a weird chip at ad he didn't my brother commented. WTF are you doing? Blocked. I knew someone who was also blocked by Josh Peck on Twitter. I can't remember what for though he mad. Probably criticized Oprah. I got blocked by the girl from Spy Kids, Alexa Vega, by commenting on one of her Young Living posts that the founder of YL killed his child. Apparently that comment wasn't a mood booster. A short history about the founder of YL if anyone is interested. WTF. That guy murdered his newborn baby. Bobby Flay. I tweeted that he looked like Randy from Pee Wee's Playhouse. This Finnish writer who stole memes and posted them on Instagram as his own. I said something about it and he banned me from his page. Juhavu or Inan is his name. This is the Dane Cook of Finnish writers. The meter is too quick on this thread. Joe Alostine. I posted in his Facebook that he was the best stand-up comedian of our generation. The Dane Cook of televangelists. Jeffree Star once blocked me on my space because I kept leaving comments on his page saying things like hey man. Great party last night, to get random fans of his to send me friend requests, after maybe the third time, he responded angrily telling me to stop and blocked me from leaving comments, he blocked me on face the jury, it was a website where you'd upload a picture and get rated, I was like 15 or 16, he messaged me saying I was cute and was flirting with me and I thanked him for the compliment but said I didn't swing that way, Donham, 
Haven't heard that website name in a while. I met my first girlfriend ever on Face the Jury. You could search by zip code. It was very ahead of its time. I also met some dude friends. I'm 36 years old now and was 16 then. Dane Cook. Anytime something bad happened to me I compared it to him. I got fired today. This is really the Dane Cook of days. Stuff like that. Wait that is so effing funny. I think it was first used, as far as I'm aware, in an early episode of Archer. Am I gonna learn karate? PFFT. The Dane Cook of martial arts? Dane Cook is really the Dane Cook of comedians. Not me, but my friend got semi TikTok famous over an open ended question on how she found out Santa wasn't real. That got popular and gained the attention of the guy verified as Santa on TikTok. He sent her a nicely worded message about how she shouldn't make a video about how Santa isn't real cause there are kids on the app. Then he blocked her. I feel like kids are in danger of finding out about a lot worse things if they are on that app unsupervised. No one young enough to believe in Santa should be on TikTok. Kirsty Alley. I'm social media connected to some vocal ex cult members. Very strange to be blocked by someone you've never tweeted at. Found out when I tried to. Did you ask her where they're hiding Shirley Miscavige? In the cold. Cold ground. There are tools that let you subscribe to lists of people to block. Often politically based, I found myself blocked by people who I don't know and have never interacted with. I found one list I was on, and it was based on submissions from its supporters with no way to appeal or request removal. Sounds like something Scientologists would like. A famous astronomer blocked me because I blocked him. I was following him but his posts were overwhelming my feed. Retweets were off too. I unfollowed but days later, my feed was still all his posts. So I blocked him to stop it. A few years later, thought I'd try again since Twitter's made changes and he has me blocked. Al righty then, Phil. Be that way, is he the guy that wrote the book Bad Astronomy? If I was naming names, I might say yes. How did he know that you blocked him? I don't use Twitter. Do users get notified when someone blocks them? If you click on someone's profile it will say that they blocked you. Kevin Hart. I said typed pineapple 1727 times. Why? And why pineapple? You must not have watched his older good stuff lol. YouTube search Kevin Hart pineapple you will not be disappointed. My friend was blocked by Vucic, the president of Serbia because she asked how much money they washed on the reconstruction of Republic Square. It's such a cool thing when president just ban you on social media rather than exile you in Siberia. I like this approach. The Yauta Baranajan blocked me after he invited a bunch of people into his discord for a debate on the allegations against him. When I said you're a grown adult, you should have known what you were doing was wrong. I mean it's not normal to move state just to marry your 16 year old partner a few days after they turned 16 inches. He blocked me on Instagram when I was younger because I commented onion on like 60 of his posts all in a row. I got blocked by him as well. I made a meme of him holding up a piece of paper that said certified grooming license. He has me blocked till mayo. There was a time he kept going on FB rants about how much he hated English accents and I kept calling him a prick and other names because why do you have to be so damn salty about an accent? Grow up maybe? It was some time after he and his ex Shiloh broke up so this was years ago but I still find it hilarious. Lmao he also has me blocked for pointing out that it is extremely questionable to have memorized the age of consent laws in multiple states. Down to the last detail, he's the Dane Cook of pedophiles. I told Janoris Jenkins that he was burnt toast and couldn't cover me. He still can't cover but he knows how to block apparently. What's so bad about being called burnt toast? For a cornerback in American football saying that basically means that they are letting themselves get burnt torched which badically means letting the receiver they are supposed to be covering get deep receptions and big plays. Or more simply, slow. A UK political apparatchik after I reminded people of his multiple speeches in favor of eugenics. Who was that? Toby Young, a friend of the family of the current UK PM. Jeffree Star because I called him out on what a massive piece of she is. I bet he's blocked thousands of people. He blocked my friend because she called him an alien. He literally released an alien palette and calls himself an alien. The F. Tyler Tequila. She made a video shaming women for wearing makeup and I reminded her that she did anal porn. Why would she shame women for wearing makeup? She's lost the plot. Think she's all pro Nazi now too. 
I snorted and cackled reading this. Thank you. Chance the rapper blocked me after his latest album came out because I commented this shiztiki. About 600 likes on the comment in an hour. Then I was blocked. Still blocked. Why did he block you that was free positive engagement which is great for social media's lumfeo. Probably because I hurt his feelings. That sh was, in fact, the key. Devin Sawa, I called him a dick for making fun of poor people and he made my tweet his cover photo for a little while and then blocked me ha 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 ha. Seriously though I thought he has died years ago. That he's alive and active enough on Twitter to block people means that he's likely on other social media platforms. And that means somebody out there in the world has been ghosted by 90s Casper. Not me because I don't really use Twitter. But my husband was blocked by Billy Zane because my husband drew a picture of Billy Zane wiping mustard on his face with a bratwurst on a fork. It was a pretty good likeness. What a tit. Permission to take this photo and, in some way, send it to him on Twitter? Chance the rapper was on a blocking spree after inkshting on his album, The Big Day. I happen to be one of those people. Gordon Ramsay. I was 13 and in a dumb group chat with my friends on Twitter. Someone in it was followed by him so they added him to it. He ended up blocking half of us. Rightfully tbh. Also I messaged him asking if I could be on Mr. Kef because I could make good ramen noodles and I think that also caused it. I got online bullied by Susan Summers and then her fans brigaded me. It was so bad I ended up deleting my Twitter account. I just hit mute conversation when this stuff happens and move on. Also Summers made it because she was a hot blonde. Not everyone can make a living wearing short shorts. So this happened to me once for accidentally insulting an actress I liked. She posted a picture that was captioned oh hi and my stupid brain thought about this video. Which I promptly quoted. And she read the quote of course not knowing the reference and thought I was calling her a piece of garbage. So then she commented glad you've got it all figured out or something like that and then suddenly people were commenting constantly on my account and I was like good grief I wasn't even insulting her. But it was too late. They all hated me. She never blocked me though. Which I'm thankful for. But I had to block like over 200 people. It was insane. All because I quoted a vine. Brian Singer. This was when the accusations came out. I commented on an Instagram post where are all the comments attacking him for being a scumbag. Someone said he was deleting them all. He then blocked me and made his account private. I told Joe Alostine he was a fake a Christian for only opening his church to flood victims after he was pressured. I said something to Aaron Carter and he blocked me. Oh wait. You said celebrity sorry. Same. He's such a tool. He'd happily step on anyone for money. Two psychics that I called out for being grifters. Tyler Henry and John Edwards. DR. Phil has me blocked on Instagram for commenting I wanna run my teeth through your mustache. Julius Randall blocked me on my old Twitter BC I called him a fat bee blade. Your shade must have worked. Dude turned into a beast. Kelly Reaper. The best part is I worked for her studio at ABC for years and was never caught trolling her. She is actually a pretty decent human being but has made life annoying at times. Ryan Seacrest BTW is a refining saint to the people who work for him. Such a nice dude. Kelly is a bit of a diva but what do you expect? Wow I'm impressed to hear that about Seacrest. I expected a bit of diva from him but that's good to hear. That's honestly so cool to hear about Seacrest. X's success seemed that much more genuine. Not really blocked but once on Twitter Chris Brown released a single and I made a joke along the lines of this guy hasn't had a hit since Rihanna. Which caused Rihanna to follow me out of nowhere. She unfollowed when I supported Bernie over Hillary. And that's as close as I came to being cool. I got blocked by my MPP, Ontario, when I reminded her that she removed millions of dollars in funding for school repairs after voting herself an unscheduled pay raise. I used to be blocked by NATO on Instagram years ago. We require a story squire. OP is probably a member of the Warsaw Pact. YTF does NATO have an Instagram? Well you got better treatment than my mother. She got bombed in Belgrade. Survived. XD. XD. Jim Connett blocked me on Twitter after he bragged about slapping Santino Morella around. I replied. You know damn well that if he wasn't looking for a job and green card at the time he would have crippled you. Blocked within the hour of posting. George Salkalis, the big hair aliens meme guy from Ancient Aliens. He was being an arrogant, 
do you know who I am type A on a friend's thread regarding UFOs, and I calmly reminded him the only reason he has a job is because the History Channel has low standards on what they consider experts. Next thing I see, this message is unavailable lol. Della lay because I said I didn't like his new haircut. Triple H on Instagram, I don't even follow wrestling. I got drunk one night and tried to start a rumor Triple H only has 3 fingers on his right hand. I did some poorly photoshopped stuff and posted it on wrestling forums. Then I followed up for a few weeks on forums and then every time I would drink I would get on his Instagram and start typing things like prove to the fans you have all your fingers or why have you betrayed us all for so long with these secrets or f you Triple H. Really I have no idea why I focus on him. Anyway after about 2 months of this it got the point where I was blocked. That's my story. Prove to the fans you have all your fingers. I just lost it. Sean King because I criticized him. What's strange is he blocked me several weeks after my tweet. Westboro Baptist Church. I made a script to send them gay porn every 666 seconds. So you gonna share that script or what? Oh god this was years ago. I wish I still had it. I'll search old HDs to see if I can find it. I'm blocked for the same thing except it was gay MLP porn. My little pony porn? I love his work. I bought his poetry book. Some celebrities use blockchains lists so everyone qualified as X or following someone involved in X is blocked. So say you really like Furbies. Either I own who likes Furbies or follow someone who likes Furbies might be blocked by someone just using one button pressed once. William Shatner blocked me after an argument about autism. He's crazy. Can't wait to see BuzzFeed turn this into an article. BuzzFeed. The Dane Cook of websites. I just got blocked by the OK Boomer girl today cause she was taking about not working for free under someone's cooking tweet and I sent her a screenshot of her saying that she doesn't believe in tipping servers cause it's not an actual job and she shouldn't give entitled people handouts just to bring her a glass of water and food. Kenneth Copeland blocked me for spamming his DMs with Lil Nea sex posts. Rahanna complimented me. Saying that I had sexy lips in a pic I had posted on Twitter. Baby mama wasn't too happy about that. And at Ed Rahana the rest of the day. Even saying she'd have some dudes Chris Brown her. Blocked us both by the next morning. The baby mama ended up in prison for stabbing me a couple years later and I've been a single father ever since. Update. For every who has asked. It happened in 2012. No. I don't know Rahana. She blocked me. Duh. My child is now a teenager and we haven't seen biological mother since, because she's not legally allowed to be around us. And yes, we are doing very well now. And yes, I have some rad scars. And yes, I have phantom pains. The biological mom developed postpartum depression, on top of other things, and just kind of snapped, and she attacked me, our kid, and even herself. Son had PTSD for a few years but he's great now. We've all moved on. Thanks for the questions. Hate it when that happens. This is a refined roller coaster of a comment. And I'm surprised that there's no one else asking WTF happened. So. WTF happened to end with you getting shanked? Damn bro sorry. But damn bro re re was to gin you. Jimmy from the Dave and Jimmy radio show in Columbus. Oh. He posted a picture of his sister and said. She got all the good lucks in the family. And I said. Looks like there wasn't much to go round in he first place then. I reached out to him and apologized personally, and was unblocked. Oof, I could see that being a friendly jab, or just super brutal on context. Good on you for apologizing personally. Hulk Hogan. I tweeted him after his sex tape leaked. Told him I never understood why the leg drop was such a devastating move until I saw that coke can he hauls around. Also, the guy from Blackstreet after I badgered him one night trying to get him to admit there was at least some diggity. I'm a little surprised I wasn't blocked by Mark Ruffalo after I posted a bad photoshopped picture of Mark Buffalo. I think he's cool enough to not do that lol. Chloe Kardashian blocked me for commenting her real dad's name even though Kylie Jenner tweeted a pic of Chloe and her real dad and captioned it saying so, but it was immediately deleted. It's Alex Rolden. Chris Jenner's ex hairstylist. Chloe's middle name is Alexandra as well. Lamar Odom has also said he's met Alex numerous times. Google him. She's his twin. I kinda wanna go get blocked by a celebrity now Almeo. 
DJ Snake has me blocked because I said his set at Ultra Miami 2017 wasn't worth missing another DJ for. Eric the actor. I commented ak ak on his post on FB and he replied goodbye. Mercedes got mad at me when I asked if they could get me a new transmission for my Tiger tank or build me a Vita rocket. Caitlyn Jenner for reminding her of the millions she spent on anti-LGBT politicians. Not at all a celebrity, but he thinks he is. The Keanu Reeves breathtaking guy blocked me after I said John Elway called me a little shin 98 but you don't see me relying on that for my personality, you. That guy sounds awful if he's trying to capitalize on an off-handed comment as a claim to fame. Elon Musk blocked me on Twitter back when he saw landed on that asteroid. I asked him how he felt that we finally made contact with his species, or it could have been the tweet where I joked that Spasic sabotaged Virgin Spaceship 2. Conor McGregor remember when he punched that old man for not liking his whiskey or whatever he made. It was also about 10 a.m. I called him a pompous a spineless psy a day -a or something to that extent. Got banned from Twitter for inciting violence against him. Pretty sure you tossed the first punch there bud. Bobby Ryan. Rightfully. Following an incident where he stomped on another player's skate and got suspended. I took to Twitter to voice my opinion of him. Fast forward almost 10 years to February 2021, in an arena with probably less than 500 people I finally got the chance to scream at him and ask why he blocked me, I know he heard me, still awaiting a reply. Not a celebrity, but I got blocked by Peta for asking why they euthanize healthy animals. Hi, I'm asking seriously here why do they euthanize healthy animals? Rob Liefeld, the comic book artist, and I have no idea why. I had been following him, as well as a bunch of other comic book creators, on Twitter, and one day I realized I hadn't seen anything from him for a while. I looked him up, and I was blocked. Maybe I got high and commented on his inability to draw feet or faces that don't look like someone trying to take a massive sh-